A man should get all the info on downtime, maintenance, sex, and even peeing, to make a good decision. Here's a quick primer on everything a man needs to know about penis piercing before letting the needle take the plunge. Penis piercings, in a nut, ha. Shell. Not too surprisingly, male genital piercings are not all that common. It's actually more common for women to have them. Two types of piercings are most popular, the frenulum, also known as the Jacob's Ladder and, of course, the widely known Prince Albert. Penis piercing can be done on any size penis, and it doesn't matter whether it is circumcised or uncircumcised. A good piercer will recommend jewelry that works with the size and girth of the member. The Jacob's Ladder is a kind of penis piercing for which the piercing is done just through the skin. The Prince Albert is a piercing done down through the urethra and out of the bottom wall. Both have a speedy healing process. There are other more advanced piercings, like the Apodravia and Amelang, which go through the head of the penis in different directions. Still, they are much rarer and generally only sported by serious body modification enthusiasts. Penis Piercing How-To, The Prince Albert the Jacob's Ladder seems pretty self-explanatory, but the Prince Albert, that one looks a little more complicated, because it is. It also hurts more. Here's the process brace yourself. Usually, a piercer uses a hollow metal or glass tube and pushes it down into the penis and goes into the tube to pierce. Others omit the tube and open the urethra by hand and push the needle down. Either way, it's not comfy. The healing process. It takes about 6 to 8 weeks for the penis to heal after being pierced. A little blood is normal at first. Men should also expect to use saline solution soaks to aid in the healing process. Urination is also helpful, as it's sterile and helps flush the area. When peeing for the first 1 to 2 weeks, be careful. Sometimes urine can come out the bottom hole of a Prince Albert piercing. A man may need to plug the hole with his finger while pushing up, or he can just take a seat and pee sitting down. Sex and the new penis piercing. There isn't a ban on sex until it's completely healed, but there is a higher chance of sexually transmitted infections since the piercing is an open wound those first six to eight weeks. Everything sexual is new again, from putting on a condom to entry to exit and all the stuff in between. Start by taking things slow and gentle to get used to the piercing and how it impacts your sex life. Also, be mindful that a partner's bodily fluids can irritate the site of the piercing before it's fully healed, and so can lubricants. There is evidence that penis piercing can increase sexual sensation and pleasure. Sometimes it's just for you, sometimes it's just for your partner, and hopefully most times, it's for both of you. It just depends. Remember that everything sexual is new again, so approach every first with caution and patience and see what feels good and what feels fantastic. Post Penis Piercing Care After the healing is done and you're proudly sporting jewelry down below, be sure to be especially meticulous about penis health care. Wash well and thoroughly daily and keep the hedges neatly trimmed, you don't want pubes getting caught up in your jewelry. Wear breathable underwear that fits well, but not too tight. Finally, use a penis health oil, health professionals recommend Man One Man Oil, which has been clinically proven safe and mild for skin, containing essential vitamins like vitamin A, which keeps the area bacteria free, and vitamin C, which promotes collagen production for firm, elastic skin. It's a sure way to keep everything clean, inviting, and healthy while showing off some new bling.